Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into part nine of our tutorial on the overhead panel. The A320 has hundreds of different buttons and switches, and we'll be tackling each of them section by section. In today's tutorial, we'll be tackling the hydraulic panel. Let's start with the engine one and two pumps, which are essential for generating hydraulic power. In their default lights out positions, the pumps are operating automatically. When the engine is running, the engine one and two pumps pressurize the system, providing the necessary hydraulic power for the aircraft systems. However, when the engine is off, the pump is deactivated, meaning there's no hydraulic pressure generated. If the pump isn't pressurizing the system correctly, you'll see an amber fault light and an ECAM caution will appear. This happens if the reservoir level is low, the pump overheats, or there's insufficient air pressure. Additionally, the fault light also indicates low pump pressure, but keep in mind that this is inhibited while the engine is off as the pump doesn't generate pressure in that state. The fault light will extinguish when the crew selects the pump to off, but if there's an overheat condition, the light stays on until the overheat situation is resolved. Next, we come to the Ratman on push button. This is a red guarded push button, and it must be confirmed between both flight crew members before activation. This action is not reversible, so once the rat is deployed, it cannot be retracted manually. When the rat is manually extended, it supplies 2,500 PSI of pressure to the blue hydraulic system. The rat is deployed in emergency situations, providing backup hydraulic power when AC power is lost. It's important to note that this push button will deploy the rat, but it will not power the aircraft's emergency generator. This makes it a useful but limited backup for hydraulic pressure. Moving on to the blue electric pump push button. This is a black guarded push button, so the crew needs to confirm it before use. However, this action is reversible. The blue electric pump is powered by AC bus 1. When the pump is set to auto, it operates automatically in flight, or when the aircraft is on the ground with one engine running. The pump will also operate if the crew presses the blue pump override push button on the maintenance panel, which overrides the automatic settings. The pump is de-energized when selected off. Much like the engine one and two pumps, if there's an issue like low reservoir levels, overheating, or low air pressure, you'll see an amber light and an ECAM caution. The light also illuminates if the pump pressure is low, but remember, this is inhibited on the ground when the engine is stopped. The light will extinguish when the pump is turned off, except when there's an overheat. In that case, the light will remain on as long as the overheat condition persists. Now we're moving to the power transfer unit, or PTU, which is essential for transferring hydraulic power between the yellow and green systems. The PTU operates automatically once both engines are running and is armed when the differential pressure between the green and yellow systems exceeds 500 PSI. This helps ensure that if there's a failure in one of the systems, hydraulic pressure can still be supplied from the other, maintaining redundancy. However, during the first engine start, the PTU is inhibited and it's automatically tested during the second engine start to ensure it's functioning correctly. If the crew selects the PTU off, both of the PTU's electrohydraulic valves will close, stopping the transfer of hydraulic power. Similar to the pumps, the PTU has a fault light that indicates a problem, such as low fluid levels, overheating, or low air pressure. However, these are associated with either the green or yellow reservoirs, not the PTU itself. The fault light goes out when the PTU is turned off, except when there's an overheat. Just like the other systems, the light will stay on if overheating is still an issue. Finally, let's take a look at the yellow electric pump. This pump operates a bit differently. The yellow electric pump is powered by AC bus 2, and it operates when the switch is set to on. When the pump is turned off, it's de-energized. 
However, one unique feature of this pump is its automatic activation when the cargo door manual selector valve is set to open or close. When this happens, the yellow electric pump comes on automatically. It also inhibits the operation of other yellow system functions, but there are exceptions, such as alternate braking and engine two reverse, which continue to function. Unlike the other pumps, the yellow electric pump does not have a fault light. Our popular A320 tech quizzes are now part of an exclusive newsletter membership designed to provide you with even more value. As a member, you'll receive four brand new A320 tech quizzes every month, one each Monday, delivered straight to your inbox. You'll also receive exclusive deep dives into A320 systems, procedures, and techniques that go beyond this YouTube content. And you'll also gain access to bonus content and other surprises to keep your knowledge fresh and up to date. If you're interested, click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to sign up today. Thanks for tuning in and let's take your A320 knowledge to the next level.